Hi, oh YouTube. My name is Dax, and welcome to this Friday special edition of Dungeon Souls. I am aware that you're probably tired of seeing this, but I adore this game. I also can't figure out what else I want to play today. Uh, so we're playing Dungeon Souls. Today we're gonna be the Dark Blade. Um, a really interesting character. She, uh, at least I think it's a she. She uh, has two different weapons. She's got her giant, massive piss-off hammer that she can then swap to, you saw me do it just a little while ago, swap to this chakram. Uh, she, uh, also is incredibly armor-based, um, her other, her only other ability is a, uh, a, uh, a dash that increases how much armor she actually has, uh, for a couple seconds. Um, but yeah, uh, every time you swap between, to make the character interesting, every time you swap between each different, um, each different, uh, weapon, you deal bonus damage on your next basic attack. Um, which is neat. It's an interesting idea. I'm gonna take this... Who, who the hell is hitting, hitting me? Okay. I'm gonna take that club. Uh, also, if you're wondering what this big barrier around me is, there's an item I crafted, uh, just before I started this run called Nimby's Essence, which every 10 seconds, it'll generate a shield worth 10% of my maximum HP, which... I did just, or I just did a run on the brawler that didn't record for whatever reason, um, and I was sorry, I was just, uh, checking to see, like, what the actual, uh, volume was on this mic, um, huh, swing hammer to that deals, what happens if I slaughter the chakram? Throw chakram, uh, that deals damage faster movement speed. Uh, yeah, to hell with it. We're gonna upgrade the, uh... We're gonna, we're gonna take thick armor. And this is what it does. I just dash forward and get a ton of armor for it. Uh... The hammer is really good for, uh, fighting things that are, uh... Melee range. Uh... Well, I guess they're both really good. I was gonna say they're both really good for crowd control. Or, like, one's really good for crowd control. But they're both decent. Um... I also have a bunch of, uh... Just a bunch of, um... Oh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I've got a bunch of, uh, upgrades, passive upgrades going on right now. Um, <clears throat> what is, generates a shield with 10% max HP strength. The shield generates every 10 seconds. Oh, right, yeah, because I, oh, I, I, I thought I had a, I thought I had a different amount of HP. I thought I had, I thought I had, like, a hundred and, like, ah, never mind, it doesn't matter. I thought I had a lot more than I actually did. Uh, we're going to take more damage. We're gonna swap over to the hammer, we're gonna swing it around for a little bit. Um, ooh, cat paw, thank you. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> if I may, I'm gonna talk about Zarya in Heroes of the Storm for a little bit. Uh, I did a huge spiel about this on the other video, or on a video that I was recording, but, or, like, on the, my last run, but it wasn't recording, so it doesn't count. Um, but Zarya in Heroes of the Storm is, well, rather... She got a buff yesterday. She got a buff Thursday. Um, which it was just number increases, like damage increases. She has more damage, more health, more re health regen. She just got better, which is kind of sad considering she only came out on Tuesday, and they're already buffing her. But when she came out, it was just like it was it was agony playing her. Um, it just, it, it was just a bad time, like, she dealt no damage, her only survivability was on a 12 second cooldown, and the only way she could gain more damage was also on a 12 second cooldown, like, the way she works is, if you've played Overwatch, it's exactly like Overwatch, where Zarya, if she throws a barrier, and the barrier, she puts out a barrier, either on herself or on an ally, if that barrier takes damage, Zarya gets a damage boost for it, um, <clears throat> But in Heroes of the Storm, there's already a bunch of characters, or there's already one character that does that, like, does the shielding job better than Zarya does. His name is Tassadar. He's a support. Um, and, like, she gives less healing than Tassadar, or less shielding than Tassadar. Um, she has no crowd control except for level 10, but there's characters that already get that kind of thing. Uh... Well, there's another character that gets uh, one of her ultimates called the Graviton Surge, which is just, it, it's, 
she throws out a bomb, or she launches a uh, projectile that after it hits the ground, after one second of travel time, no matter where she fires it, um, it explodes on the ground, but or it, it triggers on the ground. It doesn't deal damage, it just draws enemies into the area. Uh, it's not a root or a stun, it just p makes it so they can't move out of that area. They can still use movement abilities while stuck in the gravity surge. Just, um... And then another one, the exact opposite, is called, like, Repulsion Zone or something similar. Where enemies, or she throws out a projectile on the ground that, uh, does damage and knocks people away from an area every second or so for however long it lasts. I think it lasts, yeah, it lasts 3.5 seconds. Uh, and does a, like, does a pulse, like, once every 0.5 second, I think it is. It, it, it doesn't last very long. It's longer, it, 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 it's a pretty decent amount of time, but it's not as long as you'd like. Uh, nor does it deal any, or it doesn't deal any significant damage. And the other part about Zarya is just like, it just didn't feel good playing as her. Like, she just, she doesn't deal damage. Like, even with, like, before the patch, even with, uh, or not patch, hotfix. Before the hotfix, even with full energy, Zarya dealt no damage. Like, absolutely none. And it's quite sad. Um... They did buffer, uh, like I said, on Thursday, uh, which is yesterday, uh, when I, when I'm recording this, that day is yesterday, um, uh, <coughs> excuse me, but, like, it just, oh, it just felt awful playing her, and I bought her on release, because, like, man, Zarya is my favorite hero in Heroes, or in, uh, Overwatch, I'm gonna have so much fun playing her, holy shit, I have so much armor, I was, yeah, I was thinking that I was gonna have a lot of fun playing Zarya, I was wrong. She doesn't do anything. Like, when she came out, like, I, again, she was out for two days. She came out Tuesday, September 27th. Uh, September 29th, they buffed her. Like, everything about her just got better. And that's a pretty bad sign that you fucked up when your character who's been out or in the game for less than a, less than three days already needs a buff. <clears throat> Excuse me. It just, oh, it wasn't, it wasn't fun playing as her, because, like, in Heroes of the Storm, characters with no mobility usually make up for it by having high damage or lots of crowd control or utility. Uh, Zarya didn't. Uh, any character that has high mobility usually is lacking damage. Um, anybody with high damage usually lacking crowd control or mobility. And anybody with crowd control is usually, usually lacking damage. It's like a nice little, uh, it's like, a, like a really, like it's a really basic way of thinking about it. But that's, that's pretty much how it goes. Like, a lot of characters who deal high damage either lack uh, mobility or lack crowd control. People who have a lot of crowd control usually lack damage or mobility. And people with mobility usually lack damage or crowd control. Uh, <coughs> Zarya had none! Zarya had nothing. She had no damage, no crowd control, and any crowd, cro ca crowd control she did have was completely countered by high mobility characters, which is, to say, a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> And she dealt no damage. She had no survivability, no damage, no crowd control, and no mobility. It just did not feel good playing her. It was awful. I played her for two days, and I'm just like, man, they fucked up. How did they fuck this up? It was, it, it just, oh, it felt terrible. But then they buffed her. She's still not fantastic. Like, it's still not like playing Zarya in Overwatch, where it's like, you hit one button in front of the enemy team, and then you become a raid boss. It's like... I'm threatening under the right circumstances. <clears throat> that circumstance being I have high energy and you are low on health. Um, but yeah, the other thing was that uh, her energy passive just... Oh, it, it was so bad. It bled out so quickly. Um, just everything about her just wasn't fun when she came out. And then yesterday, they buffed her. Uh, but yeah, that... <sighs> I find it kind of funny. How, uh, the last couple of heroes, like, Mediv was another hero that I was really looking forward to in Heroes of the Storm. He had the same problem as, uh, Zarya. He had the same, well, no, it's not true. He had a similar problem that was implemented, uh, or, like, he had a similar problem, which was that just people didn't know, or, like, he, okay, Mediv wasn't, like, fantastic on release. Uh, or at least not to play alone. Medivh is a fantastic hero if anyone tells you otherwise they're a liar and a coward. Like, Medivh is one of the, like, concept-wise is one of the strongest characters in the game. Um, and it's not because he has damage. 
Just everything he does is really good in a organized situation. Uh, like, what Medivh does is he provides utility and crowd control. And a lot of both. Uh, one of his ultimates, and it's the only reason the only reason I wanted to play Medivh was for this ultimate alone, called Polybomb, which he selects, or he clicks on a target, and that target turns into a sheep. After a couple seconds, they uh, that that sheep effect explodes. It doesn't deal damage, but the sheep effect explodes and spreads it to anything nearby, like any enemy hero nearby. Here's the kicker: it can spread indefinitely. If you have two people standing beside each other, uh, and you inf you hit one of them with polybomb, if they're still standing beside each other when polybomb ends, the other one will turn into a sheep, and it'll just it can keep going back and forth for as long as they stand beside each other. Uh, the other thing that Medivh has is a uh, a portal, uh, which I mean it it, it it's a teleporter. You, you he throws two doors or he throws a portal on the ground, and a uh, another one shows up like. He, he selects an area on the ground around him, and then if you don't take his, if you don't take the portal mastery talent at level one, another one shows up where Medivh is standing. Uh, any ally can interact with this portal to go through it, and will they can go through it any number of times as long as the portal is around, and just he he can use it to cover so much ground and chase so aggressively, or save an ally from uh, being killed. It it just does everything you'd need it to. And then his last ability, or, well, another one of his abilities is, a uh, Force of Will, where he just makes the target immune to damage for 1.5 seconds. Uh, it's a really strong effect. It, like, you can block so much damage with it if you time it right. Uh, and then his last one, which is his only damaging ability, is called, uh, Arcane Rift, or Arcane, yeah, Arcane Rift. And it just, it, it's his only source of damage, it's just a straight line... It's a straight line bolt of energy that if it hits an enemy hero, it lowers its cooldown and restores mana. Uh, when Medivh came out, he had a terrible win rate because nobody knew how to capitalize on what he did. Like, in, a, in, a, in quick play or in other similar unorganized situations, just playing Medivh was like the quickest way to lose because your team didn't know, like nobody knows what Medivh did. Um, or nobody knew what Medivh did, rather. I used two different tenses there. Uh, <laughs> nobody knew what Medivh did when he came out, and everybody hated it. Like, he had a terrible, terrible win rate, because it wasn't because he was underpowered, it was because nobody knew how to use him. Um, but, like, when I when he first came out, I was like, oh my god, that character sounds fantastic. I bought him and had a terrible week with him, because, like, it just, it was awful playing uh, with people who didn't know what he did. Um, we're gonna upgrade auto attack damage. Uh, Zarya has the same problem in a, or has a different problem in a similar manner. She just, like, nobody knows how to play with her. Or, no, 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 it's not true. She just didn't do damage. She had a similar problem in a different way. Oh, right, I already had a, uh, uh rockets. How long is that cooldown? That is 30 seconds. Whoops. How long are you? 30 seconds as well. Okay, they're both 30 sec. I'll take the, uh, I'll take the rockets, sure. Uh, give me that hammer, there we go. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's my tangent about, uh, Medivh and, uh, Zarya. The two characters I was the most excited for, and they were just absolutely useless on release. It, like, it, it, and it wasn't, like, for Medivh, it wasn't Medivh's fault. Zarya, it is her fault. Well, it's the hero, like, mm, how can I word this properly? Um, it just, playing Zarya just was like, you just didn't want to deal damage, is what you wanted to do. When you played Zarya, you just wanted to die. Because, like I said, no damage, no crowd control, no sustain, no mobility. And, uh, like, just like in Overwatch, Zarya's passive was, uh, energy. Like, as her shields absorb damage, I, I went over this, but as her shields absorb damage, uh, she redu- or she increases how much damage her, her damaging abilities do, but, like, it just- Her abilities just didn't- like, her base damages were so low, there was no point in doubling them. Like, doubling zero is still zero. Um, and, like, her entire kit was designed, like, basically, it was trying to be what it was in Overwatch. But there's already characters that do it better than she does. 
in Heroes of the Storm. It just, it, it just, oh, it didn't feel good. Playing her didn't feel good. It was just, it was just, it was just bad. Like I said, her ult, or her, uh, her shields. Tassadar already does that job way better than she does. Uh, one of her ultimates is called, uh, Graviton Surge. Gazlo, uh, a goblin in the game, does it better than she does. Uh, at level 10, they both get a similar ultimate. One does damage, Zarya's doesn't. Like, it just, like, it doesn't. Zarya's Graviton Surge, I, I know I've been saying it for a while, but, like, Zarya's Graviton Surge has no damage value attached to it. It just, all it is, is just a big, not even a big area, it's just a ring on the ground that if enemies walk into, they get drawn into the center of it. They can still, like, flash out, or, like, if you're playing Murdy, you can still use your jump to get out of it, but, like, anything else, like, it just, it's just a bad ult. Uh, her other ultimate, uh, Tyrael, the Archangel of Justice, gets a similar effect at level 16 on a 12-second cooldown. Uh, her other ultimate is called, uh, Repulsion Ring, or Repulsion Zone, where it just, it, it, it throws enemies out of an area and slows them. It does a little bit of damage when it throws them and slows them. But it's on a 45 second cooldown. Tyrael gets a talent at level 16. Oh, Mind you, that's you. six levels after Zarya gets I hers. But ice. it's on a 12 second oh, cooldown. And does reliable damage. Like, he throws down, like, the way it works is Tyrael throws down his sword and then teleports to it. Uh, at level 16, if he takes in a talent called Holy Ground, and when he teleports to the ring, or to the sword, it leaves Feel a ring on the ground that uh, no enemy Feel can pass through. My um. <clears throat> It gives him a lot of, a uh, a lot of, like, objective control, because he just creates an area on the ground that nobody can pass through, unless you blink over it. If you try, you can't, I don't think you can jump over it, like, again, if you're playing Murden, I don't think you can jump over it, but you can blink over it if you play, like, Li Ming or someone, who has a similar talent, uh, or a similar ability, rather. Um, but yeah, just, uh... I was so excited for Zarya, and then they fucked it up. Because she just, she dealt no damage. They, they did buff her, like I said, all of her damage values have been increased, but it just, like, aw, oh, it, it was such a terrible hero launch. Two days. She was in the game for two days and received a buff. Uh, rather, uh, uh, they call it a, uh, a hot fix. Mind you, some other characters were also a little bugged. Um, what the hell? Plant a poisonous mushroom. That doesn't do anything for me, does it? It's just a landmine in there. I think so. And I know, I know most of you probably don't care that much, but Heroes of the Storm is one of my favorite games. I'm really passionate about it. Um, I, uh, I, I like it so much, but, like, just sometimes some of the design choices are just like, why would you do that? Why is this a thing that you made? This is awful. Change it. Uh, <laughs> but my, my buddy, di or me and one of my friends were playing it last night. Uh, we found a good combination for Zarya. Artanis and Zarya. Uh, Artanis is a really heavy, really durable, uh, like, aggressive warrior. Aggressive tank, if you would. Um, who, uh, I mean, they're probably better pairs for Zarya, but me and him had a lot of fun playing Zarya Artanis, because just like, the way Artanis works is that he is a, uh, he, he's a really aggressive melee warrior. Uh, his passive is that whenever he drops below half health, he gets a giant shield uh, for a couple seconds. Uh, he can lower the cooldown of this shield every uh, or by just auto-attacking things. The more times he auto-attacks, the lower his cooldown becomes. Uh, so a lot of Artanis builds revolve around lowering your uh, lowering your shield cooldown, like your shield passive. Uh, so much that basically you can just stay in a fight until everything is dead, yourself included. Um, you never leave a fight until you run out of things to hit or run out of the ability to hit things because you're dead. Uh, <laughs> and it worked. It worked pretty well. It worked pretty well. Because um, I got him a lot of, uh, like, the way it worked is Artanis would go in, get his ass kicked. I'd give him, or, like... He would go in, I would wait for him to start getting attacked, I'd throw him a shield on him, get a lot of damage off him, and then throw, like, grenades in, because that's one of Zarya's abilities. Her other ability is she just fires a particle grenade, is what it's called. Uh, <laughs> and it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun playing Zarya with Artanis. Um, it just, like, 
Artanis with Zarya. Artanis is already, if you build him right, functionally immortal, as long as he can keep hitting things. With Zarya, it just elevates that. Like, it removes pretty much the downtime that he would spend without a shield. And that's not really long at all. So, yeah, we, uh, we, we, we crafted immortality. <laughs> we found a way to become immortal, and it was fantastic. Uh, also, coincidentally, uh, every game we played last, uh, we played like four or five games, and three or four of them, I was MVP for, which made me feel really good as Zarya, because it's just kind of like, she went from being beyond playable, or beyond unplayable, to pretty decent, is a word I would use, is the description. Okay, bring it on, big guy. I'm kind of angry I didn't get to go to the uh, arcane library, but that's neither here nor there. Whoosh! Catch some rockets, big guy. I'd rather not. I don't need to dodge it. When you only do 12 damage to me. <laughs> to a shield, rather. I should probably invest in some, uh... Uh... Is that... Yeah, okay, I just got... I have so much armor. I have too much armor. Um, I've got 500 armor. Anything that does magic, or anything that does physical damage, I'm pretty sure it does nothing to me now. I am, uh, again, I've crafted immortality, haven't I? Catch some rockets. Mega cleave that. Okay, I was just waiting for, to, or I was just waiting for him to explode. Okay, what do we got up here? Really dark and he, that, that's something I have a problem with in this in, a problem with in this game. Sometimes it's really bright, other times it's quite dark, and I, I I'm sure it's just like the whole like random generation of the world, but like I, I want some consistency here. Cause like one time I went to the Fey Gardens, I couldn't see like three feet in front of me. Another time I went there, it was super bright and I could see for miles. Uh, I understand in the judgment why it's so dark, but why in the Fey Garden? Uh, it, just, it it didn't make a lot of sense to me. We, I'm probably gonna have to invest in some uh, uh, whatever it is, magic resistance here soon. I was playing the Brawler earlier, and I made it through almost two complete runs as the Brawler. Which was pretty fun. It was... It was entertaining. Up until the final boss when just like... I burned through all of my potions before I got her down below half health. Which is never a good sign. Spike key... I don't need the warrior book. Or do I already have a Molotov? I do indeed. So I'm grabbing the spike key. Gotcha. Boom, that was easy. Uh, the spike key just gives me two of each kind of key. Cursed chest. Vital armor. Sure, let's take double the damage if I ever get hit. Or heal for half of it. This may have been a bad idea. Admittedly, this was a bad idea if I don't have the resistances to survive magic hits. Ooh, what are you? Oh, magma worm tail. Thank you. I like that. Wow, these guys are all dead now. That was... That, that, that felt satisfying. That is the word. Satisfying. Like, walk in and just erase people? Yeah, you better roll away, Rock. Whap! Whee! I was gonna say, did I just steal like 3,000 health? But no, it was 30 point something. <laughs> I can dream, though. Let me dream. In I go. Into the judgment. Oh, sorry, I just uh, hit my desk with my knee. My feet are a little chilly, so I have them tucked underneath me. I cross-legged on my computer chair. Uh, because they're chilly, and I want to warm them. And I was just adjusting it, because I was kind of cutting off circulation in my foot. I have absorbed a lot of health through this vital armor. Maybe it was a good idea that I took the vital armor. I, uh... We're gonna find out, though, when I go fight the, um, the Judgment. Because I don't think I'm gonna have the damage to kill him. I've got the sur armor to survive him, but not the damage to kill him. Unless his projectiles deal magic damage, then I'm probably screwed. Whee! 
Hey. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna be okay. Ah, uh, well, we're gonna find out when I get there. Bop. Foot finger or spike ball. Or dot muncher glove. Hmm. I'm gonna say foot finger. I don't know how high my crit is. Oh. 15%. I like it. Okay. Uh, how do I get up there? There we go. Ah, I got something caught in my throat. Or at least I feel like I got something caught in my throat. Or I'm a little flemmy. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Add explosion. Bam! Rockets! Quack. Man, these beholders look dumb. Or at least I'm assuming that's what they're supposed to be. I could be way off base on that one. I don't know why I hit that button, but I did. Catch some freaking chak rams, big guy. Catch a ca catch yeah, catch a chak ram. Catch a chak ram, bear cat. Ten thousand health. That is a little much, don't you think? Yeah, I'm just gonna throw chak rams at you all game. Or all fight rather. We oh god. Nope, not the one I want. Okay, fine. We're gonna bash you a little bit with rocket or with my hammer. Get my health back. Okay, here I was thinking my uh my headbutt there would uh give me invincibility frames. It does not. I just took all those shots in the face. Okay. So, I think I went over it, but the reason I keep swapping weapons here, uh, every time I, like, I'm swapping weapons basically off cooldown, because, uh, the part of the, uh, the, the, the dark blade that I really enjoy is that every time I swap weapons, I deal bonus damage on my next auto attack. Uh, it's like 70 or 80% bonus damage? Uh, 70, no, no, just... Just actual bonus damage, not not a percentage, just flat bonus damage. Okay. So that uh, that worked a lot better than I thought it would actually. I mean, I still got another form to run through, but that weren't that didn't go bad at all. I quite enjoyed that. Now my hand's cramping up a little bit. Hand, don't do this to me. Not now. Ugh, just a minute. I'm gonna pause real quick. Ugh. Ugh. Why? There we go. That doesn't happen before. Am I getting old? Is this what getting old is like? Ugh, I hate it. Is this supposed to be the equivalent of Lady Lane? I think it is. So let's not deal with it. I'm just gonna throw my Chak Ram at you a bunch. And swing my hammer. Yeah, that's supposed to be Lady Lane. Gotcha. Whee! Dash through you. And then smash it with my hammer. Can I fire more rockets, please? Thank you. I don't know what you're doing all the way down here, but I, I, I guess I'll allow it. I'm also really liking that shield. Like, that, that shield is nice. 10% of my maximum health every 10 seconds is really useful. Especially for characters who aren't very mobile. Or who have a ton of it, like the uh, the barbarian. Catch some rockets. Going. Bam! Oh, not quite. There he is. Now he's dead. Okay, cool. I guess. I think. I want that zombie tooth. 
You can get out of here. You weird ass blizzard monster. I want that. Uh, slingshot I just picked up makes it so that enemies that I kill explode and deal bonus damage. Wee! Oh, accommodation letter, sweet. Oh, a blood shit, or yeah, a blood sword. Hell yeah, I'll take that. I like the blood sword. Uh, I already had one. Damn, never mind. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the blood sword is bonus damage and life steal. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna go hang out in the end for a bit. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill her or kill uh Celine, but I I'm gonna give it a good old I'm gonna give it the good old college try. And I'm gonna smash this I'm gonna smash this guy to bits. Suck it! Is that another blood sword? It is indeed. Hey, a uh, fallen soldier shield. I don't need that in the slightest, but thank you for the bonus armor. I've got a thousand armor. Are you fucking kidding me? Why so much? Why does this character need so much armor? The long and short of it is that I don't. I'm gonna increase my damage on my hammer swing. Wee! Catch some rockets. Oh, is it only two? I thought I fired three. Oh, it does. I just didn't see the third one, I guess. Or maybe it's hidden behind the first one. I don't know. What are you? Nimby's Grace. Can I stack that? I didn't think so. Oh, uh, that's the shield I'm currently using. Nimby's Grace. I don't know why it gave me another one, but I'll take it. I'm not going to disagree with that. What are you? Dot Muncher Glove. Alrighty. What are you? Blood Dagger. I will take that. Thank you. Doink, 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 doink. Catch some rockets. Dead. Oh, a dragon tail. Sweet. Uh, I think I already had one. No, I didn't. Uh, the dragon tail. Uh, I picked it up in my last video, and it's the first time I've seen it. Uh, or, like, the last episode I was trying to record. It's the first time I've ever seen it. Uh, there is a 15% chance that on every auto attack, or there's a 15% chance on my next auto attack, that I'll fire a, uh, a, a, a fireball that does bonus damage. Ooh, I like the spike shoes. Spike shoes are nice. And another blood dagger. Hell yeah. Uh, the spike shoes, what they do is, um, before how I was being thrown around by my own auto attacks, doesn't happen anymore. No matter how, like, big my weapon is, uh, it doesn't matter what exactly I'm swinging. Uh, I won't get knocked back by my own attacks anymore. Which is really nice. Um, every character has that, and I don't, I don't agree with it. Because, like, one character in this game, uh, the, the, the thief, he just throws knives all the time. Knives don't have any kickback to them. Uh, we're gonna take... Um... I guess we're gonna take the wizard book. I wanna have lower cooldowns. Okay, now bring it on, Shadow Skeleton Kings. I'm gonna throw a, uh... gonna throw a Chakram and hit you with a hammer a little bit. Wee! I don't like this laser attack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get away from that as quickly as possible. Eh. Eh. Catch him, catch him rockets! Catch a Chakram! Catch a hammer with your face! There, and he's dead. Ooh, magnifying glass. Another spike key. Another one of those. Anything else you drop? Just a bunch of health potions. Okay. The magnifying glass is funny. Accuracy and burn chance. <laughs> a compass. Because we all like to roast dance with magnifying glasses. Is the joke. I don't know if I needed to tell you that. I probably didn't. Uh, but I'm gonna make sure. Whee! Yeah, that laser attack is, uh, quite terrifying. If only just because he fires so many of them so quickly. Bam! Hey, what are you? Beat book. Yay, more movement speed. Uh, okay. Now. Oh, hey, look, another key. Or another chest, rather. Yay! Coins! Uh, that magnet, uh, basically collects coins for me. Uh, which is why I am a big fan of it. Whack. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a... I like the fact that I took that, uh... Oh, whatever it is there. What is that, uh, armor called? The, the vital armor. I'm glad I took it. 
Oh my gosh, magic. Yeah, hey, are you the regen sword? You are? Oh, I already had one, never mind. Catch some rockets! Alrighty. Catch a jack ram. Woo! Boof. I'm gonna bash with a hammer a little bit. Just a touch. Just a little bit of a bashing. Don't mind me. Hey! Fish me! Yay! Bonus health! And bonus defense! Yeah! Not like I needed that. How much defense do I have? El almost 1,200 at level 12. Why so much armor? Actually, I do have 1,200. I've got 1,206. No. 1,204, I think. Uh, that'd be six. Uh, yeah, 1,204. Feel free to check my math on that. I'm not very good at math. Uh... Or at least, I was just trying to do a quick math, and I'm bad at it. Uh. Bam! Archer book. Oh, God. Oh, well, I guess I don't get any of that stuff. Uh. Slingshot. Compass. I don't know why the compass. I took it because I wanted to. Okay, bring it on, Celine. What do we got in this? Oh. Yay, one extra gold coin. I'm just going to throw my, my chak ram at you a whole bunch. Never mind, I'm going to try and smash it with my hammer. Catch some rockets. I think my rockets may have missed. Wee! Oh, is that my Madu Buckler? Do I have the Madu Bu Buckler? I don't see it. I heard. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. I do have the Madu Buckler. Alrighty. Wee! But yeah, when I die, or if she dies, whichever, whatever the outcome of this fight is, I'm gonna call this an episode. And next week, I will try to have something different than, uh, whatever, uh, or I'll try to have something different for, uh, my next Friday special. Um, then just, uh, more Dungeon of the, or Dungeon Souls. I was about to call it Dungeon of the Endless. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. I just wish that you didn't have that, like, I can completely negate damage thing going on. Catch a hammer. Catch it! Catch it! Now, when that wears off, I'm gonna throw some rockets at you. Catch some rockets. Okay, man, I think my rocket's timed out. I definitely hit it with one. I just wish I could have gotten to the, uh, the actual, uh, the, the, the Forbidden Library, because I really wanted that, uh, I really wanted Merlin's hat so I could have, uh, or, like, swap weapons and swing my hammer faster. Thanks for all the free health, actually. That was, that was really nice. I'm getting really lucky with that vital armor. I probably just jinxed it, but, yeah, I'm getting lucky with it. I like it. Thanks, vital armor. For doing exactly what I wanted you to do. Which is absorb damage for me. Ow. Yep, see, I jinxed it. Ah, oh, my nose itches. Ah, oh, my mustache and everything in my room is flaring, or making my nose itch. And I don't like that. We Dash through the arrows. And smash the, smash the little girl. Pro tip, don't actually smash little girls. Why can't I do anything now? What is this? Wait, did she make me drop my weapon? What is that? How did you make me drop my weapon? What is this horse shit? I don't take kindly to that. Oh, I lost it again, didn't I? Nope, it's back. Whee! I just really wish you didn't have that barrier. Like, if you didn't have that barrier, this would go so much faster. Or if you didn't, like, blink around all the time. That would also make this faster. Huh. 
Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I had a yawn there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just a little, uh, little, little, little tired today. I don't know why. Pro well, probably because I woke up super. Well, not super early, but like earlier than I, I'm used to. Come on, catch a jack ran. Catch one for me. Well, I've got her a little over half dead. That's 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 always a plus, right? I just wish my chakram would come straight back to me instead of having to like arc around. Cause that'd make it a lot easier to throw it. And to retrieve it. Well, one one rocket hitter. That's always that that's good, I guess. Ah, excuse me. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of, I don't have my weapon. Where is it? Used to attack Celine. That's right, bleed out. Catch some rockets. Thank you. That was a fair bit of damage I just got to do to her there. While she was channeling that giant, like, lightning ball. Sorry, I just kind of like ran out of things to say. I'm just uh, I've said my bit about Zarya and Heroes of the Storm, and how disappointed I was with her when she came out. But now I don't really have anything else to s I don't have anything else to say, so I don't really know what to say. And usually I opt to say nothing. Ah, ah shit! I'd love to know what keeps warping me to the center of that, like center of the room. But there's too much going on for me to actually, like, be able to pay attention. Well, she is getting close to death, and I don't think I've actually, like, had to use any of my potions. I haven't. That's surprising. Catch some rockets. Thank you, actually. That was really nice of you. <clears throat> I, uh, I, I can't say I'd recommend this character. She's, she's kind of weird. And fighting bosses is really slow, but you don't ever have to worry about dying, so I guess that, that that's a plus. Well, against most enemies, you don't have to worry about dying. I did get kind of low with, uh... The Guardian there, didn't I? Er, not the Guardian, the, uh, the, 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 the Judgment. But that might have just been because I had a... Oh, there it is. That may have just been because I had, a uh, my vital armor. And she's about to die. Excellent. I hate that shield. I hate that shield. There we go, now she's down. Sweet. So yeah, I'm gonna call this an episode. For those of you who are new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. But if not, then carry on your merry way. But, uh, I'm just stressing real quick. For the rest of you ramblers, I'll catch you on the next episode, or next week, with another Friday special. I hope you all enjoyed this nearly as much as I did, and I'll see you all next week. Which, I will probably be saying, playing something other than Dungeon Souls. Because, no matter how much I love this, you probably are quite bored of watching me play it over and over again. This is like, what, my fifth, fourth video with it? I think fourth. Yeah, fourth. I'm gonna go now. Bye, everybody!